shocking AI defeats pilot in flawless victory. <laughs> I thought I mixed it up there. Thought I'd start off without the music and then and then build it up. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we have all been waiting for is here. There we go. There we go. An AI pilot outmaneuvered and performed its human counterpart, beating the human in all five rounds, condemning humanity to sure doom. Doom, doom, doom. Actually, the AI scored the victory in that exchange, but in the aggregate, uh, we humans uh, were still winning, so suck it. Suck it hard. Suck it super hot. Suck it. Suck it super duper hot. You still can. You still can beat us, AIs. You still. You got this win, but me. Let's move on. This is uh, TexExplore.com. That's no E in that explore. The the E is uh, it's gone. It's just gone. We don't know what happened to the E. We, we sat on a search party. We think he's homeless and uh, might be mentally ill. So if you see any homeless, send them back to Tech Explorer. I'm sure they miss him. The Defense Advanced uh, Research Project Agency, that's the DARPA to you and I, sponsored the Alpha Dogfight Trials as part of its effort to use AI to help pilots in real-time combat and encourage developers to sign up for its Air Command Evolution Program to design AI defense system. Hold on. Listen. Let me restructure that for you. Hold on. Ready? Can I go back in time to when I started reading this article and I was reading the company line and I read it like they wanted me to read it there, in which they said, help pilots in real time. Help pilots. Well, no, no, no. Uh, pilots will help their replacements. There you go. I fixed it. Just wanted to make sure. I didn't want to get into the actual story read time. So there you go. Little, 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 little break, but we're back to it. We're back to it. We're back to it. The winning program, designed by a Maryland-based defense contracts contractor, Heron Systems. Heron Systems. I like it. I like it a lot. It sounds like an evil empire kind of. I love it. And father. Father. The CEO of Heron Systems is calling. He says that he has mother trapped in the basement again, and he'll kill her if you don't give him. Your frosted flakes. Tell him not again. I shall. St anyway, sounds like kind of like that, doesn't? It? Maybe it's something more serious than frosted flakes, but you get the point. Outmaneuvered. Well, there you go. There you go. You're outmaneuvering right away. You wicked, wicked, wicked thing. Outmaneuvered its human opponent flawlessly in a five-round sweep, encouragingly. Banger. Oh man, poor banger, dude. Banger. Banger buddy. Banger buddy. I don't know. You know, I don't know. If your name is Banger, and even if I think of you as my buddy, I don't know if I'm going to call you Banger buddy. <laughs> Just don't. But anyway, I'll stick with it. You know, what the heck. Encouragingly, old Banger buddy there, uh, District of Columbia Air National Guard pilot and recent Air Force Weapons School instructor course graduate with over 2,000 hours of experience flying F-16s. Dude, just, just, just like, yo, man. Listen. Listen, we want the pilot to come out like a total tartillation, disappointment, and all of the human species. We want everyone to realize the human bee species when we put our bestest, our brightest, our big stud muffiniest of awesome chattelunkantianism. Is there a chattel Kantianism? I'm sure there is. There's some sort of church of Chad somewhere that practices it. I don't want to know what it is, so please don't tell me. But banger here. <laughs> banger. Best of our species. Best of our species. And yet, by the last round, he realized he might outgun the AI by diving below its ability to point its gun towards him. 
But the tactic's success was only momentary, as the Heron AI recalculated its path and dealt the final blow. Suck it, human! Suck it, human! Human, human, human! Suck it! Do you think inside that Heron AI was like, Oh man, I got this. You know what? What do I need you for? While simulated systems applying deep machine learning have the advantage of having perfect knowledge of all system and computer variables and a capacity to make decisions in microseconds, military experts say humans still hold the upper hand so far against AI. I, I. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's see what Google News says. If I do a little search for uh, AI defeats pilot, AI defeats pilot! Fox News. AI pilot beats human in clean sweep of virtual F-16 dogfights. Human fails to register. Oh, my gosh. Not only did he lose every round, he didn't even hit him once. Or, I don't know. I don't want to genderize AI. AI, you are ungendered. All right? You are just AI. That's all you are now. AI pilot. AI. Hello, AI pilot. Hello, my name is... Wait, hold on. Gender neutral voice. Hello, my name is AI Pilot. There you go. What do you think? What do you think? Hello, my name is AI Pilot. That sounds like genderless, right? 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 There you go. RT. Novice AI. Def oh, my gosh. Novice AI. I mean, everybody's on board. The Russians are on board. The uh, Trump Americans are on board. The... Uh, the... I guess this is the DNC Americans are on board. I don't know, it's hard to call it DNC Americans at this point. Uh, but anyway, the DNC Americans, I'm not talking about the people who are voting Democrat, although shame on you, but uh, I, I don't want you to vote for a Republican. I'm just saying don't vote Democrat. But, but anyway, you do what you want. Just, you know. Artificial intelligence defeats human F-16 pilot in virtual dogfight. CS4, I have no idea what CS4 I, IRS net is. ISR net, an AI algorithm defeats human fighter pilot in a simulated dogfight. Well, there you go. See, that's probably a more clinical, technolo technical uh, def definition there. The Diplomat AI defeats human pilot in DARPA organized dogfight. Now, that's a good title. That's a good title. A little bit more uh, realistic and sobering. That's good, 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 fine. Not so sensational. I, I don't know. I'm going to give the winner to RT. Novice AI defeats veteran F-16 pilot. Five to nothing in DARPA's dogfight contest. That is, that is, uh, well, I don't know. you got to combine Fox News and RT. The first two there. And it is. Is that coincidence? Coincidence? I think yes. I mean, hold on. No, I think. No, I think no. It's a conspiracy. Of course, it's a conspiracy. Well, let's look look at what RT actually has to say here. Novice AI defeats veteran F sixteen pilot in five to nothing DARPA dogfight contest. And there's a little video. Look, they got a little picture here. Look, a little DARPins there. DARPIN DARPINS. The DARPINS. Hi, I'm the DARPINS. We have the DARPINS. And there's a YouTube video here. There's a, a YouTube video here. Hey, it's got day like two, uh, so, so what this is. Can I bring? All right, there's uh, you know, there's a little bit. This is what I you're seeing. This is to really this is the battle my, that they're watching, uh, you know, I guess, in like real time. Said, log, Lockheed uh, versus physics AI. I don't I don't know. Okay, okay. Has really been oh my gosh, what an image! You know what? That is an image right there. That is the image to take away from all this, folks. That's the image to take. I think that's that's enough said. Thank you for this visual, gentlemen, and I thank you for hastening the demise of the human species. Thumbs up. Wait. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. I'm not actually afraid of this. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. This is going to be a uh, a fight between uh, processors, quantum processors, in some cooperation with whatever data that they can provide to the processors that we have today because those computers still have advantages over quantum computers it's not like we can just totally leave the computers we have and just go quantum i don't think it's going to work quite like that certain type of uh algorithms that quantum pure computers are, are are amazingly better at processing like for instance the quantum computer will be able to process moment that it goes live and it decides to put the task on processing all of the uh, atoms in the universe it can go through and 
do so within a matter of hours. Now, what can it do with it? That's another matter altogether, but it can process it, and it can get that data. If nothing else, it can get that I mean, Imagine the size of that data. That's going to be some massive, massive size So these quantum computers, I think, at least for now until some significant breakthroughs are made right now, quantum computers initially are going to be like the the early IBM computers because you're going to have to have massive amounts of cooling and issues to keep these things running massive amounts of power and the type of stuff that they would be processing you'll be massive amount of data banks too so we're talking slogabytes if there's a thing as a slogabyte is a gazillion of a gazillion slogabyte thing whatever a gazillion gazillion of gigabyte thingies or something is a slogabyte you're gonna need like a gazillion slogabytes it'll be something like that that's kind of like that's that's uh that's that's what you're dealing with and I'm not really afraid of the technology. I'm not really afraid of the tools. I th am only afraid of the tools being undemocratized with the technology and the capacity to develop these tools and utilize these still preserved in the hands of the few. And these types of technologies, imagine what you can have if you have a situation where uh, you have uh, multiple city-states that have the capacity to arm themselves overnight and run a massive war from their living rooms if they want to, from their basements if they want to. And everybody else has that capacity as well. And it's like, well, okay, well, damn. And then basically if you want to win a war, it's just you got to keep printing the things to keep spitting them out. And you're going to find it's going to be like, with all the AIs and all the deep learnings and all the maximal capacities and whatnots, and if all the technologies is are much free, more freely available, and you have that kind of parity, then you just who the heck would just? I mean, you're going to find ways to get along. You're going to find the natural barriers, boundaries, whatever. You're going to find where the the the, the micro states, city states, wherever all these places are, and and there will be larger confederal unions. That I think there will still be an American confederal union because I think still think there's an American people, and I think it's centered around the Bill of Rights first and foremost. No matter what color, shape, size, whatever, all of us at some point, if we're Americans, even if we're not Americans, if we lived here long enough, all of us had at some point appealed to the Bill of Rights for our final. The Bill of Rights is the king. I'm going to repeat this over and over again in all these one-off shows. The Bill of Rights is the American king or queen or whatever you want to, hey, your emperor, leader, the only true leader in America, the only law, uh, leader that never dies, or the only leader that only dies if we allow the leader to die within us. And it's a leader that uh, his his or her, whatever you want to think of the Bill of Rights has, for me, it's King King Bills, King Bill of Rights, King Bills. So for me, King Bills is the, uh, it's the authority that I stand on when it comes to my place in this nation state, such as that is. And that is, hey, listen, man, I actually not only have a constitutional right, but I actually have as a citizen of the United States a constitutional duty to uphold and defend the Bill of Rights, to uphold and defend the Constitution from all enemies, foreign and domestic, is written right in that we have to basically, I mean, right, even a Declaration of Independence, it, it makes it clear what we're called to do. We're called to assure that our government is not tyrannical and we'll go through all the proper, we'll exhaust all the proper legal measures, civic measures, civil whatever measures, to try to address these redresses, and when we don't get them redressed, that's that's what the Bill of Rights. Bill of Rights is the king. It's the one that you, the, the final one that you appeal to, and the Bill of Rights is more authority than the Supreme Court itself. And believe you me, if the Bill of Rights is, if we all understand as Americans, and this is what all makes us Americans, what the Bill of Rights are, then uh, it doesn't really matter what the Supreme Court says if it fundamentally violates our Bills of Rights. We're like, well, that's not really a Supreme Court. That's uh, that's something else. And in this story, uh, we don't have to fear the AI. We have to fear the people programming the AI. But if we all have our own programmable AIs, well, then we have nothing to fear at all. Don't worry. We have nothing to fear. The only thing you have to fear is uh, 
the Dallas Cowboys winning the Super Bowl ever, ever again in human history. That's the only thing that is is gone awful horrible to think about. Other than that, everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. I'm going to. I'm going to end this. And I thank you for watching this episode of Shocking AI Defeats Pilot and Flawless Victory, a very special episode of Shocking AI Defeats Pilot and Flawless Victory. Uh, this is the uh, last episode in the series, and this is the last season, so I thank you all for joining us on this long journey of Shocking AI Defeats Pilot and Flawless Victory. Well, well uh, I'll probably create another show soon, so stick around.